Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I've part of the Thanks for Watching Art Blog Hop, video hop that we're doing on YouTube. I decided I would share a little project with you. A couple of days ago, I was making some gel prints using some of the D decor and DIY paint from Tattered Angels as well as using some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and a little bit of some color bursts. Today I thought I would show you what I was going to do with these pieces that I made. One of them was a little pocket where I die cut the book page and then I die cut a flower out of some of the book pages. Another I die cut and backed it to another sheet of paper so it could make a real pretty little fold up envelope. What I'm going to do today is show you a couple of ideas that I have and I'm going to use the Gemini by Crafters Companion to do some of the die cutting. I have a square piece of paper that I cut and I've got one of the border cutters and I'm going to lay this across the center of here and while I'm at it I'm going to put another die on here and this is an edge cut as well and so I've got about a two and a quarter inch piece of paper I'm going to line it up with its edge as well so I can do one cut or excuse me two cuts on one pass so I'm making the sandwich according to the directions of the Crafters Companion Gemini and then I'm going to put this through the large Gemini so I have the one that has the 12 by 9 plate surface. I'm just removing the dies and it didn't cut all the way to the edge because the die was a little bit narrower so I'm just going to take my scissors and snip that and that'll be nice and neat and then I'm going to take this one apart <clears throat> So I'm going to take this one apart by removing the die from the die pieces. And again, it didn't go all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to take my scissors and snip on either side of this. And that has now made a beautiful decorative edge. And this one I can use. It'll be a little bit different, but I can still use it. I'm going to die cut another piece and then I'll show you how I'll use all these little elements. So I've got an edge border die again and I'm going to lay this on the edge of my book page. And then on the opposite end I'm going to lay down another edge cut so that I can get two cuts in one pass on the same piece of paper. Now I don't want this to shift so what I'll do is take some washi tape and just place this on here just to help hold it so it doesn't shift on me like so. And then I'll make the sandwich again and run it through the die cutter. And then I'll remove the dies from the plates and, and I'll show you what the papers look like. So I'm just pulling the die away from the paper and it makes a very beautiful intricate cut. What I like about this Crafters Companion cutter from, or Gemini from Crafters Companion is that it does cut very detailed paper. And this is thin paper and I'm okay with the thinness of it. And here's what I did. I just took that page and then just folded it up on itself then add a little bit of glue on the edges so I'm just going to use some Aline's tacky glue and I just put just a little dollop of a line on each side it doesn't take a lot and then I'll just press this together and then I can choose to decorate it more or leave it like it is and then this becomes a pocket that I can put in my junk journal And then as I said before, here's already a decorative piece that I can put in a junk journal. So pretend it's a corner pocket and then you can put things in it like this and it'll make a neat little thing. And I'll save the other side and probably do the same thing. And then this will become, I'll fold this one so just kind of a neat little note. So I'm just rolling it down just a little bit 
and folding it. And then I'll take this edge and come up till I match the end of the die. And then that will become a little element that I can put inside of a junk journal. The last thing I want to show is I took this jelly press print and I cut it into a two and a half inch strip and I happened to pick up from Paper Studios this multi punch that makes different sizes of tags. And so I'm going to slide this in to the two and a half mark and go all the way in and then punch. And now that's made a tag shape that I can use inside my junk journal. I just wanted to share with you just a couple of ideas, so hopefully you're inspired to take those old book pages, paint them with a jelly press or just acrylic paint, and then do some folding to make some really unique, cool items for your junk journal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you check out the description box for the other videos that are in the Thanks for Watching Art tag on YouTube and see all of the videos that are created by some wonderful artists here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a giveaway when I get to 5,000 subscribers for a Gemini Junior. So once I get to 5,000 subscribers, that giveaway will commence and you could be a lucky winner. So make sure you subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, use that comment box down below. Check the description box for links for where you can connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even inside my own groups on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching Art. Bye!